Let's talk about color. As Dorothy Draper, the famous interior designer, once said, banish the beige. And that doesn't mean that the day of beige and gray has gone, but the idea of personalizing your spaces is so important and there's no better way to bring your personality to life than with color. I love carrying color throughout a room. If you have beige, you have gray, bring in a blue. Blue is that tried and true classic color, but carry it throughout a space. So have a great punctuation mark of perhaps a chest of drawers, but then bring blue into the pillows, other moments of your own home. Red, red is a great color to use in a space, but use it occasionally. Use it in moments where you want to have that pop of color, that real statement piece. And remember that color isn't just a fabric. It can be a painted finish on a table, a wallpaper, don't forget the floor, and a rug. That's a great place to bring color into a room. Think about a texture. Texture is another great way to bring prints and pattern into a space. If you're scared of color, there's no better way than using throw pillows to take a white sofa, as you see in this project, and make it feel fun and fresh. Switch out your pillows, and anytime a guest comes, they'll think you bought a new sofa. Think about your window treatments. Even think about your lampshades. Think about those little details, those little jewelry moments where you can use color and those beautiful little pops of color to bring that magic to life in your own home. Let me show you a few of my favorite pieces that really tap the power and potential of color. I love orange, it's an absolute essential in my toolbox of colors. It's so uplifting, it's high energy, it's not that strong red and it's not yellow, it's that in between. In fact, back in the day, before the Spaniards gave us oranges, Europeans called orange yellow red, that happy medium in between. We're seeing Art Deco have a big resurgence and this sofa, the Vera, really personifies that beautiful saturation of color that you saw in Art Deco pieces from the 1920s and 1930s. The rich velvets, the orange, the curved arms. I love a great curved arm sofa. It's so inviting and warm and welcoming. And pairing orange and velvet and a curved arm sofa together, I just want to curl up and relax. This sofa is my idea of heaven. You can't get more classic than blue. Think about a blue navy suit. It's an essential in your wardrobe. It's an essential in your home. Men like blue, women like blue. It's tried and true. True blue, you know the term. This is a great piece. This is the Hartman chest from William August. It has these great, timeless, iconic elements like the columns. You've got brass fittings. You've got the brass hardware. And you have this beautiful, chunky marble top. Again. If you're scared of red, if you're scared of yellow and green, you can't go wrong with blue. Let's talk about accessories. Navy, like blue jeans, works with anything. So today we're gonna to pick the color green. And when you're picking a color, it doesn't all have to match. Choose a light green, a dark green, that I will read it as one. So I've picked some beautiful lacquer green boxes. I have a great vintage plate. I love using plates and decor schemes. And I have some great colored, colorful vintage books. See that pop of red? Place this upon the Hartman chest. We've got a beautiful vignette. An ottoman is a great place to bring color into your room. I love this hue. It's citron. It's not quite yellow, it's not quite green, but it is right on trend. The Sorensen, which we see here, also has exceptional details. The tufting and the nail heads. It also makes for a great place to kick back and relax. And don't forget that you can style your ottoman to make your space even that much more your own. And you don't have to go neutral. A blue tray, an orange vase, and some great coffee table books and your color story is complete. For all of you non-furniture geeks out there, here's a quick tip. Before you buy a leather piece, perhaps an ottoman like the Sorensen here, do your homework. 
This is an aniline leather. It's one of the highest grades of leather. It's a beautifully soft. It's created with a water-soluble dye. There are lots of leathers where the finish is actually painted on, so it gets a rough texture. This is beautifully soft, and it shows all the natural imperfections of the hide. Beautifully soft aniline leather. Quick tip from your furniture geek. Think pink. Here's a quick tidbit you probably didn't know. It wasn't until the 1930s that pink became associated with women. Before that, pink was the color of little boys because red was the color of men. This is a great piece. This is the Giles chair from William August, and I love the quality of the construction. It's a beautiful piece. Not only does it have the great pink color that's so flattering for your skin tone, but it has the knife edge back, it has the sloped arms, the loose pillow, and the block legs. A great piece of deep seat, super comfortable, and a beautiful color. Okay, it's my goal in life to make the occasional table that much more frequent, and this is the perfect example. What I love most about this table are the exceptional details. It's almost jewelry for the home. The clover leaf base that's mirrored at the top, the platinum finish, and best of all, the red painted top. Red is a tricky color to bring into your home, but using it on a spot or occasional table is that perfect punch of color. I like to take an occasional table and bring it around the house. They're easy, they're lightweight, they work perfectly next to a chair. Pile it high with some books, a cocktail, kick back, and relax. Those are some of my favorite pieces that tap the power of color. I hope we've given you lots of ideas and permission to bring color into your own home.